Scubby. Hi, this is Scubby with the Nomadic Family. I'm sitting here in Tiki Heart with Terry from Casa de la Playa. Yeah. Um, this is heaven. The sun is setting. I wish I could give you the, the essence of calm and quiet and creativity that I feel here. It's, it's, um, wow. It's, 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 it's well. It's well. It's, it's, it's kind of beyond words. That's the truth. It's kind of beyond words. You were telling me, we were talking about you were 42, mm -hmm. leaving Germany a good career, mm -hmm. and you weren't doing what conventional society says is the right way. You didn't have the married to a man, have children, uh, own a house, invest in your career, continue. You left a good job to go travel the world. Mm -hmm. That's stupid. Yeah. That's irresponsible, right? It's not. It's the only <laughs> thing you should do. Wow. <laughs> to experience wow. yourself, to experience life. And I mean, if you like to travel, you know? And I always loved to travel. And I had the feeling, uh, all of a sudden, I had the feeling I don't want to wait until I'm a pensioner. Wow. So the decision just came up, and uh, some kind of force made everything ready so that it was very easy to leave. And you said it was, was like a leave. hand was yeah. guiding you. Yeah. It was like you are turning a, a photo album and you look, what happens in the next page, you know, and the story. So, and the next page, well. everything was working out, okay, now I will sell my car, I will do this, I will do that. Oh, it worked in the it last minute, happened. wow. Oh my God. <laughs> and you said you're at this the, the goodbye party that your company yeah, threw for you, right, Romy, and people yeah. were saying, how could you leave everything? Yeah, yeah, how could you leave everything? Yeah. That was really amazing when I saw these people and many, they had the same story saying like, wow, what you're doing is great. But I, I always wanted to do that also, but, but I could not do it yeah. because uh, my children go to school still, I have to pay for the house still, and we have a garden at home or the grandma or the or mother the dog, or whatever. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> that's yeah. always something. So I was thinking, oh God, yes. All these people, so many have these dreams, and who, who is going to make them real? You know, you really, you have to take your chance in life. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you made your dreams come true. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know if I did or who did. <laughs> right, right. They came true. I was not asking for anything. I just wanted to travel, and it was just beautiful. And then it happened that halfway on the travel, after half a year, uh, <clears throat> We just got stuck here on this most beautiful for 19 years. island. <laughs> 19 years now and still stuck and wow. stuck forever, you could say for sure. Wow. You know, people mm. say that, you know, Kobe and I left good careers and we have three children. Uh -huh. And we've been traveling the world now for 29 or 30 months. Really? Yeah. Well, good. And people think that's irresponsible, poor children, children should be in school, children should be, oh, no. you know. and. That's an amazing experience, and I'm sure they, um, I mean, they would appreciate that, I'm sure. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And it gives them something they cannot have, it's just going in this, you know, conventional way. You know? it's, it's different, it's not for everybody. No. This is what I tell sometimes guests, they also, guests coming here also say, wow, nice story. Yeah. That's yeah. nice, I would also love to do that. I said, okay, it's not for everybody. It's also not everybody's time. Maybe your time is later, you know? Right. So right. it needs the right moment, the right time. Right. But if it is there, you will feel it. But then you have to be aware and you have to do it. You have to then listen. Do not hesitate. You have yes. to listen to the gnawing in your right. heart. Right, yeah. I think a few things worked for you. First of all, you dreamed. Yeah. You listened to those dreams. Right. And you didn't resist. Right. You said, okay, let me just see what happens. And when... Mm -hmm. Um, Emily said she'll stay here forever. Mm, you didn't yeah. say no. You said, oh, maybe. You know? Yeah, yeah, and you yeah, just yeah. let it happen. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. I think also, what, like you said, it doesn't fit for everyone. You talked about being a pioneer. You guys lived here without, you know, sometimes water, electricity, yeah, that's right. internet, right. phones. You said you'd have to go to a neighboring island to get pencil and paper. Right. Yeah. So it wasn't like mm. you walk into a luxury hotel. Yeah. It was you fought to yeah. make it work. Right, yeah. You know? But it was not a, a fight in the bad sense. It was an experience. It was like a pioneer experience. It's very nice also to go back to the basics, yeah. you know, and yeah. experience that and enjoy that. And all of a sudden, you know, it's hardly anything you need, you know? Yeah. It's hardly anything you need. And this yeah. is what yeah. people, especially in the beginning, they told us, you know, wow, 
it's uh, amazing. We just feel now how easy you can be happy without having anything. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You know, in the in the in the modern, I imagine modern life in Israel is similar to modern oh, life yeah. in Germany. Yeah. Everything you need, you go to the store. It's on sale. Yeah. You buy. You yeah. buy. You buy. Yeah. And suddenly, you know, you live out of a backpack, yeah. and you have too much. Yeah. You know, and suddenly you need a pencil, and mm. it's not. I'll go to the store and buy. You know, buy tw twenty, get twenty mm. free. You go and you walk for half an hour or yeah. like I walked mm -hmm. the other day in my ball I walked half an hour to buy a Snickers bar uh -huh. you know in the rain <laughs> you know <laughs> but it was beautiful yeah it yeah. gives you appreciate yes, your that's body true. That's true. and and the yeah. things you have yeah. you know at home I would never appreciate something small because yeah. it was so easy but you know our world there is so different I know this by sometimes when I go back to Germany and then I keep buying the same thing yeah. because you know you you're it's in you you know you yeah. cannot stop it because yeah. okay this we need there this we need there once the, these things arrive here they will be lying around and we don't need them really exactly. you know exactly and also you're so um, able you're like you said you're the software department you make things like you had a stain on a door in the Millennium House yeah. so you made a, a mosaic art yeah. and you. So I saw some of the art here are postcards and paintings that you cut up and did mm -hmm. faux painting. I mean, yeah. you create yeah, these yeah, things, yeah, yeah. you know, and that's also, I think, another thing is when you don't have the convenience of purchasing, then your creative self right. emerges. Yeah, even the beach, you know what you do in, you, in the low tide, you go around the beach, you collect wood. I made a picture there, actually a, a mirror, and then shells on the, around, driftwood, um, leftover um, torn um, nets from the fishermen oh. and put them all around, you know. So uh, you can do many things. I, I saw the, actually I saw these things in Greece already in very expensive galleries where they sold these things for hundreds of euro, <laughs> and it's so easy to do it here. You can do many things here. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's beautiful. Nice. The idea also, like you said, that this is a place you know, for many different kind of people. But one thing you envisioned was an idea of a creative, yeah. inspirational place right. for people yes, to write yeah. books or make yeah. music. And you even have mm. houses for long-term stay. Yes. So I can yeah. come and settle down and just connect to sure. myself yes. and my yes, art. Yes. You wow. can just be on your own or with friends. This is also what happens here, you know. Sometimes people, they like to stay private. Yeah. Sometimes they want to yeah. join with other guests, but uh, nobody will bother. You can do both, you know. And uh, once, you know, like now, you go out to the ocean, you, you go for a swim, you feel like the whole ocean is yours. Oh you know, you're alone with the whole world. <laughs> oh, my God. I could, like, you know, I, I'm blessed with a beautiful husband and mm -hmm. children, and I'm very happy with my family life. And at the same time, I love mm -hmm. being here alone. That's good. And being between, able to yeah. breathe. And, yeah. and, 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 like, I have dreams that mm -hmm. one day... Um, my husband and I have this dream, okay, the kids are going to grow up and we're yeah. going to travel again in the world uh -huh. and we'll do vacations where uh -huh. I go away for a month or okay. he goes away for a month. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like now every six mm -hmm. months we each go away for a week. Mm -hmm. So this is my week. Mm -hmm. So the idea is just go away uh, okay. and be alone. It's a good idea. It's a very it. good idea because I think a person also needs uh, to be alone just to, you know, go on your own way. You have different thoughts, right? You have different feelings and you need to explore that also. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this gives much better harmony if you were together again. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. I was talking to uh, Serena about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. She said, well, you're on vacation without your family? How, mm -hmm. Like, why would you do that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I explained to her that, like, mm -hmm. I love missing my children and husband. Mm -hmm. That when I'm in my family, I'm always dynamic, I'm yes, serving, yeah, I'm helping, yeah, I'm right, dealing yeah. with everyone's needs. You cannot really enjoy them, only yeah. from distance. You yeah, can. well, I, you know, it's, 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 it's balancing yeah. the needs of five people. Oh, yeah, of course. But when yeah. I go alone, I just, yeah. just me. Yes. If I feel yeah. like, you know, yeah. one morning here I woke up at, five, at four, mm -hmm. and I read a book from four to six thirty. Well, and good. then I went back to sleep till ten. You cannot do that if you're... Of course not, family, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it, it's a beautiful yeah. place to just really connect. Yeah, that's true. Connect is the right way also. Yeah. The right word. And you know that these people, that's also the mystic of this place especially, these people connected to nature, the locals. Wow, you know? Siki Hort, totally. Yeah. You know, I, I hear your story and I go, I could see myself staying here forever. I yeah, could see it. Siki Hort is magical. See. Even, I did not see it in the beginning, you know, I told you. Uh, but 
it just comes and I tell you we had guests staying here for one week and they said how about can we have a house here where we can stay forever we just want to own uh, have a, a house on our own even if you rent it for yeah. you know forever yeah um, and they were just convinced after one week after two weeks staying there wow. you know you know when I checked in um, what's the woman at check-in Linda uh, Linda. Yeah, Linda please. said um, it has on the form how many nights. Yeah. So I told to her, oh, what is it? And I, she said, let's leave a blank. <laughs> <laughs> she said, let's see what happens. <laughs> one night, one year, yeah. ten years. Oh, totally. Who knows? Yeah. It's like you know, it's like Siem Reap, Cambodia. Yeah. We said we'll be there for three nights. We okay. stayed five months. Wow, really? You did? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can I can understand. It's an amazing place too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, you did that. Uh, at best, yeah, but not so long. <laughs> we we stayed in Cambodia eight months. Wow, we love in Cambodia. Siem Reap itself. Yeah, five yeah. months in Siem Reap, and then in a few islands and stuff. But we yeah. fell in love with Cambodia. Yeah, I can imagine. We yeah. speak also. We learned. I like, went really? to Khmer classes. Wow. Oh, beautiful yeah. people. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, that's good. So I can I understand. Also Lima, Peru. We said two nights. Wow. We stayed three months. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tell me more later about that. I will. I will. Thank you. I I, I I'm so happy. Um, I feel like, I don't know if it's as a woman or just as a soul, I feel such a connection to you and your dream because, like... You have the same feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like we're only living one time. That's so true. why the hell would you waste it doing what's right if your heart wants something else? Yeah. You know? And I think it's so beautiful when, you, when we release all of the securities yeah, that's and just right. see what happens. That's right. You know? And it's a very big issue to release the securities. But, you know, once you sit here on the seawall, you look out at the ocean, you think really you don't need any security. Everything will work by itself. You yeah. just have to trust in it. But even, you know, even the security isn't secure. Yeah, that's it. Of course not. You know, of course no one not. promises no. you anything. Yeah. I was working in a company which the jobs were totally secured for lifetimes, you know. Yeah. And what happens, lucky enough, uh, they gave me the golden handshake because <laughs> uh. I wanted it then, but at this time it was still possible. So it gave me the chance to travel. No? Yeah. So they wanted to get rid of people. This was a company for, you know, uh, jobs where usually people went for having a security, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, I was happy it happened, but for others it was a disaster. No? Yeah. So yeah. it worked out good for you. Yeah. And then you were able to find your creative side. and Yeah, because um, I, I took the chance, you know. So it's scary. Uh, so, so, <laughs> no, not scary. No? It's an opportunity. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's fascinating. Yeah. You know, if you see opportunities coming up in your life in the first moment, sometimes you think, oh, like a company will slowly close down, right? Yeah. You yeah. will be shocked. You Or, or a sickness, right? Yeah. You will be shocked, but there's something good in it always. Yeah. Some, and you just have to be adventurous and say, okay, wait and see what will happen out of this. You know? Like in our emails, I said to you, I'm sorry I didn't get the mm -hmm. Android email, and you said, it's all good. It's yeah. all meant to be. And I agree. Yeah, yeah it's I true. Agree. Yeah. Thank you very much, Terry. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to miss this place. <laughs> and you. I hope so. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> okay.